This week's episode of Creative Sweet TV is all about adding captions to images. If you've got a bunch of captions uh, that you'd like to add to your files, then you could use Adobe Bridge to that. I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Bridge to add captions to the metadata of your files. What the hell's metadata? Well, I'll show you what it is, I'll show you what it's good for, and I'll show you how to add live captions to your images in InDesign CS5. It's a great episode, I think a very useful episode. Even if you're doing you know, stop credits or any of that sort of stuff, this is the one for you. Welcome again to Creative Suite TV. Many of the photos that I take really defy description, but uh, in this case, uh, we really do need to add a description to them in order to be able to use the live caption feature in InDesign CS5. How do you do that? What's the best way to add the description or the caption to the file? I think it's using the metadata. So if I take this file here, for example, it's a simple Photoshop document. I'm looking at it in Adobe Bridge. Over on the right hand side here in the metadata tab and, yeah, and you can find the metadata tab really easily under the window menu metadata panel okay might appear in a different spot than this you can type in headline keyword and also a description and you can see we can type it right in here so I've turned myself into a green uh, man whilst we don't need waiting whilst at the airport, which I did with uh, my good friend Pete Brownstein. Okay, I can also add uh, copyright information, so I could put a copyright notice in there, and I'll put my name in there, uh, put um, address, and all the rest of it. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and put little descriptions in the description field for each of these of my photographs in the metadata in Adobe Bridge. The next step is to set up a document in InDesign. So what I've done here is I've placed uh, a couple of frames already. I've placed three frames actually. Now these frames I've set the new auto fit feature on so that when I place the images in they'll automatically fit within these frames. So I've done that already. And the first one I've automatically generated a live caption. Now this is really easy to do. All we have to do is select the frame and it can already have a picture in there and this one's blank. Come up to the object menu, down to captions and then over to generate live caption. Now when I zoom in you can see it's got no intersecting link. It's got nothing, no picture to pull that description from. How does it know where to get the description? I bet that's what you're wondering. Well that's the caption setup. So we come under captions again, over to caption setup. Now this is interesting. What we can do is we can say, let me get that in the screen for you. We can put some text before, so we might just put something like a bullet point. Uh, let's do that. Alt 8, a space, and then we can choose any of the metadata from the file. So we can have headlines, descriptions, file names, resolution, whatever information you've typed in there and in this case we're just using description. I've also gone ahead and set up a paragraph style called Mike's Caption. So I've already done that using the paragraph styles panel. All we're going to do is apply it when this gets placed in. We can tell the offset how far away from the image to be so I think a millimeter is probably fine. Um, you could type whatever you like in there and you can choose to group the caption with the image. So if you move it around I'm going to leave that off for now and we'll press OK. Let's place the image in. So what we're going to do is jump over to Bridge. Just move this to the side. I'm going to choose this green man one. It's going to drag and drop it into InDesign. It, it places in. Oh, I can't see that because my caption hasn't been applied yet. So we select the image. We say Object, um, Captions generate live caption and boom there it is there let's have a look I've turned myself into a green man whilst at the airport and there is the bullet point as well so that's how we do it now what happens if we replace this image I wonder if that's what you're all thinking here's what happens I'm going to choose this picture of me as a samurai we'll drag and drop that onto there boom Mike the Photoshop samurai and that should be a capital P as well but that's in my description. Now 
There we go. And I can, of course, reposition that, all the rest of it. So the caption is live. If I go ahead and let me just go ahead and delete these guys here, I can just duplicate this across and I'm just alt clicking and dragging across. Um, so that's kind of cool. And alt click and drag across again. We're going to place them using the gap. There you go, making the gaps even. Let's place some new images in. This time we'll choose this large carrot with me and my family in New Zealand. There we are. And then the description comes up instantly. My family in New Zealand with the big carrot. And then last one, let's choose, say, this photo of Mount Ruhapehu, where I've recently been snowboarding. Drop that in. Select that. And let's just go ahead and scale that down. And we'll place that in. That looks good. Okay. So clouds covering the base of the, the mountain. So all of those things automatically. Now, what happens, my friends, what happens if I move this caption away? It no longer finds that metadata. Hmm. All you have to do, if you want to have it separate like that, is select the image and the caption and just Command or Control G to group them and now it goes back and says, oh, you want to use the caption from that image. That's a nice image. And Mike, you make a fantastic samurai. That's what it's all about. You can generate a static caption. You can break the link. Okay. So if, I, if I'm intersecting here, and let's intersect that. There we go. My family and New Zealand in the big carrot. Um, we can say object uh, down to captions. We convert it to a static caption, which means it's just going to stay like that. We don't need to group it, and we can edit that text if we need to. Okay, But it will no longer update now if I update the description in the metadata. So extremely useful if you're doing photo credits, descriptions, anything like that. That's how we generate live captions using InDesign CS5. Woohoo! That's a beauty!